that just comes standard with the you know the media support, telephony, Bluetooth, your camera, GPS, and all that good stuff, and then a rich development environment, including a device emulator, tools for debugging, memory, blah 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 blah, plugging for the Eclipse IDE. Um, considering the time, I probably won't go after this. Because I already did show you the system architecture in the beginning anyway. Okay, now the different things that you need in order to work with Grow Mobile, each of these different platforms, BlackBerry has its own development environment, iPhone has its own, um, I can't think of the name of it, the X something or other. Xcode? Yeah, Xcode um, that it uses. Um, so this Grow Mobile is pretty sophisticated in that they're able to inter you know, tie in with all these different development environments using common HTML, CSS, with some Ruby on the back end to, and then it'll, you set up the, uh, the environment and tell it which application, you know, which device you want to create applications for. Uh, now let's stick with the Android thing for the moment. Um, with the SDK, it comes with the Android virtual device. And you need the, virtual device, that's where your emulator comes in, and without that you really can't develop for Real Mobile. So you need the SDK, and you also, well here's a little bit about the, the uh, virtual device. Um, it's a completely independent virtual device, and you configure it, you just, you know, you determine how much memory you want to have available to it, the size of the screen, the resolution, and all that good stuff. And uh, it runs right from the, you just download the SDK, go under tools and run it and it's, it's right there. Um, now when you get started with Real Mobile, I'm just, Ruby B just tells me what version of Ruby I'm running. It works with 187, 192. Uh, you just run the gem install for roads and then it builds native extensions and does all that stuff and it installs the gem and then you have it available on your machine, you set up your path so that you can run the different uh, parts of it. Oh. Oh. No, we'll back up again. Yeah, this is fun. Okay, now I'm going to go back over to the command line. Um, oh, wait a second, let's go to the SDK. Within the SDK, you have as many AVDs as you want. You create a new one. You give it a name. And you tell it what you want to run it on. And then you can specify size. So this will be megabytes. Let's do eight. <coughs> um, give it a specific resolution or you can just pick from a number of options over on the side and just stick with the HTV and then you create it. Now when, I don't know if it's so much because I'm running a virtual Linux even though I'm giving it 2 gig but um, a lot of this stuff takes forever so I'm um, going to kind of skip through, you know, like they show the cooking show where they <laughs> put the thing in and then they, here it is, finished. <laughs> so anyway, so you create that device and without that, if you try to run an Android application, uh, it'll tell you that, sorry, there's no device available so I can't do anything. So you, initially you have to create the AVD. If you already got it, then you have to run it. And when you run it, this takes forever to get it to come up. So I'm not going to put you through through that. It probably takes close to 10 minutes before the emulator finishes loading. So anyway, so you just you know you pick the one you want to run, you click start, and that set you know that starts it up, and then it goes through its whole thing, and it shows a little tiny Android, then the bigger Android, and then finally it brings up the screen. But with um, with Real Mobile, simple way to create an application is you <coughs> just 
just type in Rogen app and then give it a name. And if anybody's used anything like Ruby on Rails or Grails or any of this, they, a lot of development tools now are coming up with a command line thing where you just type in, you know, Grails or Rails or whatever, and then tell it what you want. Ru, if anybody's familiar with that, that's a Java spring-based um, development tool. Go so. on DOS? Hmm? DOS on Dope? DOS on Dope, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so once you're... You think I'm kidding? <laughs> so now... Now the interesting thing about this, when you first install um, roads, and before you create an application, you do a road setup, and what that does, it walks you through it. it you tell it where your JDK is, you tell it where different things related to the phone that you're developing for. So with Android, it would it would ask me, you know, where is your Android SDK? And I give the path. Where's the NDK? You give the path. If it's BlackBerry, you would give the path to if that's, you know, the BlackBerry development kit, so on and so forth. And it just prompts you all the way down. And then it creates a, uh, I think it was called row build YML that's under the roads. Um, uh, development environment. It's not part of your application. And that has a, a more detailed description of the environment that you're developing for. And then this build YML, that's more specific to the application you have. So if you open that up, Notice that there's nothing really here for Android. And without setting up the Rhodes uh, system part setup, there wouldn't be enough information to tell it where to find my Rhodes stuff. But it's got stuff for the Blackberry, uh, for Windows, for the iPhone, and a few other environment types of bits of information where the SDK is. Point to, to so it finds roads, and then what it'll do is it'll go out to the roads SDK, and it'll find the the more general uh, information. With Ruby applications, they have something called an ERB, which is their version of HTML. And when you generate the application, it'll set you up with the HTML. These are kind of placeholders for URLs that aren't not really doing anything. So what you need to do, this is one I created before. From the demo or the, the tutorial is that they tell you to replace what was inside this div with this bit of text and then you generate your application to compile and run the application, you just type in rake and then run colon android and it starts going through the build process and you can see this is just a small part of it, but it, this goes on for about 15 minutes and it's pulling in C libraries and Java libraries and going through all kinds of stuff. There's like a 
couldn't tell you how many lines, but it, it took like 15 minutes before it finally came up. And what came up was, this is my application. So just adding a product model that had a few parts to it, it really, it, it kind of gives you the basic functionality that you need to kind of get started with an application. And it, uh, so if you want to change that from saying login to sign in, would you have to go through that whole 15 minute process? You'd have to go in, change the code, change the HTML. And then, and then re regenerate it. Re 15 minute waited. Yeah, that's why this. this well, wouldn't Ray go and find the dependencies and to only do it the parts? Does it all over again? Oh. So, why is it? What good is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, part, part of the, pro like part like the problem is it, it's just it's running really terribly slow having a virtual machine running on a laptop. I would need a dedicated. No, I'm just saying, why, why doesn't Ray go through and intelligently build instead of just redo the whole thing? That, that would be nice, but I, I've run this a few times. Just, just the bare bones. Just generate the app, go in and run it, and then go in and add the little thing like the product. And all that does is it gives you a form that has, you know, the fields that you specified when you created it. And um, it really, it, it takes about, it took about ten minutes to generate it the second time, and it goes through. It looks like it's going through pretty much everything it went through the first time. So, so does this create Dalek bytecode then? Is that it which creates, runs in the VM? Well, it creates, um, it's, it's kind of all these things in, built into the 